Welcome into Cooking with Margie. I'm Eric Stafford. This is Margie. <laughs> what do you got this week, Margie? Well, Eric, I was wondering, what are, is your favorite type of food? Anything with food in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't have anything. I really don't have anything I detest. There's, there's, I love it all. And you've got so many beautiful things sitting out here. Yeah. That, that I love each and every one of them. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, that makes your life simpler, doesn't it? That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, you know, my favorite uh, type of food is Mexican food. I grew up in Texas. You might not know that. No, I didn't know that. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, we ate a lot of Mexican food, went to a lot of Mexican restaurants. and So you really know how to make Mexican food. Well, I, I don't really make it like the people in the restaurants. And, and the reason why is because after leaving there, you just feel kind of bloated and full. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, even the Mexican restaurants in North Carolina, pretty much when I leave there, I'm like, oh, and I don't know if it's because I just eat too much because it tastes so good and I can't quit eating or if it's the ingredients. It, that it's, it's the nachos. Of. Nachos. <laughs> It's the nachos before. Yes, right. Yeah, you just can't quit eating that with the, eating that with the with um, <laughs> the picante salsa. <laughs> yes. So uh, so what I wanted to show you today is how to make mushroom beef tacos. Ooh, that sounds good. Now mm. I like mushrooms too. Yes, and they add so much dimension to the to the beef filling. They're they're quite excellent. But um, okay. before we start that. Um, I wanted to make a topping. I mean, certainly with tacos, you can put any topping you want on there. Yeah. A lot of people make slaws and put them on there or cheese, add cheese to it, lettuce, tomato. Um, I really like guacamole because it has uh, a little bit of everything in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you're a guacamole fan as I like, well? I like guacamole. I like avocados. I like them a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, so we have... Um, avocados <laughs> here uh, that are really hard. These okay, two are second, really hard. We lost our power. <laughs> okay. And then, um, but then I had these avocados that uh, you have to let them ripen on the counter. Um, you, they won't ripen in the refrigerator. So if you want to keep it for a while, you can go ahead and put it in the refrigerator, take it out later to ripen. Um, but then I had these avocados um, that I'd let ripen. And uh, so it's kind of a trick, you know, to get them just right. So this, this one looks pretty good. Um, sometimes they get too brown inside. Sometimes you open it and the whole thing is brown. So, um, you know, the way I like to cut an avocado is uh, you can just go across like this while it's in, in the shell. Real, oh, okay. Real simple. Little trick there. And so we're going to chop it. So we'll go, just go across like that. Um, and then you can just take it out with your, with your spoon. So that's gonna taste nice and buttery because it's, it's good and soft. <laughs> but yeah, if you had the hard one, um, I don't think you would enjoy that too much. No, I gotta, gotta give them a little soft, a little more ripen up. Yeah, so uh, I think avocados have gotten a lot less expensive than what they used to be and um, I use them as a topping instead of butter sometimes for toast in the morning. I just put a little avocado on my toast. Yeah. It's really nice. Well, I've heard of a lot of uh, weightlifters and stuff. They'll eat like, that'll be their fat. Is the only fat they eat is maybe avocados or something that has a little fat in it. Yeah, maybe Not that's because fat. it's a, yeah, exactly. It's a healthy type fat. It's the kind of fat that we want to uh, have in our diets. Fortunately, um, the fats, um, a lot of the fats that we want to have taste really good. <laughs> so that's avocado, that would be olive oils, things like that. Oh, yeah. Um, so that's kind of brown. So, so I'm going to, uh, it's easy to just discard that part. It probably wouldn't hurt you to eat it, but it doesn't, it doesn't really it just, look it that just good. It just discolors in the air. It oxidizes like potatoes or something like that, you know, a little, or apples, you know. How they, or they can get just a little bit too ripe, but they still, ripe. they still taste, they taste really good. Yeah, mix it all together. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you then, you don't, as much. then you don't notice. Now it's funny, some, <laughs> some of the avocados have really small seeds and some of them are, 
are pretty large. That, that one looks pretty good there. Do you feel <laughs> cheated when it's got an extra large seed? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, just, or you could look at it the other way. You feel really fortunate when you get one with a really small seed. Oh, that's true. <laughs> you say, look I've never seen this. one with a small seed. Any, I've not cooked a lot of avocados, but I've, I've, I've not... Uh, ever come across one that didn't have a golf ball in the middle of it. <laughs> I've seen the seeds about half that size. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to just use these two. Actually, I've got, I have have a recipe that calls for three, um, but I only had two that were ready. So you, you just do, <laughs> it's kind of, uh, guacamole is pretty forgiving. Um, you know, you don't have to have it exact. But a lot of cooking is. Uh, I mean, you know, you kind of work with what you got. You got to be able to improvise a little bit, I think. Absolutely. It's not It's not a hard science. It's like, you know, you kind of see what you got. That's. Uh, that means you know how to cook. Yeah, <laughs> when you don't well. have to. When you don't have to uh, follow a recipe for every little thing. I think recipes can be inspiring. Um, but it's nice when you... Uh, can be creative about it, just use it as your base. I, my mm. mom used to always tickle me because she would say, I have this recipe and I'm gonna make it. And it was like ham surprise or something. She said, but I've got turkey. <laughs> and so she would always, <laughs> it was, she was always doing that. So uh, we used to kid her about that. because It's not ham surprise if you're it's putting turkey, turkey in it. Turkey surprise. So, turkey surprise. So we've got uh, tomatoes. Oh, Most, that looks good right there. Yeah, the color is really pretty, isn't it? Um, and so most guac, pretty every, pretty much every guac recipe I've seen has tomatoes. Look at this one. Isn't that a beautiful now, tomato? Now, isn't that like a, isn't that considered an heirloom tomato? Isn't that what they call those? Or is it that is. Different? It's a, a Cherokee purple, which it's not really purple, but <laughs> I think. Yeah, it, some parts <laughs> it is, but it, it's cool looking. It's really neat. Now, now, these heirloom tomatoes taste so great. Now, I did get that one from a local farm. Uh -huh. uh, but usually with my heirloom tomatoes, I just want to eat them by themselves because they're, they're so good. They're I would so have tasty. to say that's my favorite vegetable. I was just talking about that today, was, uh, especially the little grape tomatoes. I've been like eating them like candy. So mm. <laughs> This is the time of year for it. So I added a little bit of cilantro. So that's, you know, the thing about cilantro is this is one of the things you can add it to. And after I, I buy it for a big old bunch, and I'm never quite sure what what else to do with it. So, um, yeah, yeah, I just got to have lots of, bunch. it really does. I can never seem to get, use it all before it goes bad. Yeah. But you just keep it dry in your refrigerator, you know, maybe with some paper towels next to it. It lasts a pretty good while. Okay. So, okay. So, um, also onion is a key ingredient. However, I'm going to use onion powder only because I can't really tolerate onion very well. Oh, Some okay. people they can tolerate onion, and you're not and you're not a fan of the consistency of the mm -hmm. onion because I have my kids are the same way. They no, don't it's the... just it just um, is not good on my stomach. Oh, I'm not okay. Sure what it well, there is. you go. <laughs> but but yeah, some people can't handle peppers. Some people can't yeah. handle onions. Um, and then we'll just put a little salt and a little ground pepper. So that's that's pretty much it for our guac. Okay. Well, it, it looks yeah. great. Now you use the onion powder. Uh, one thing I like to tell people is that they sometimes they'll get the ones that say salt and you don't have to get something that has salt in it. You can get like the onion powder or garlic yes. powder so that you're not adding that extra salt to your diet for absolutely no reason. Absolutely. Yeah, that's something to look at. If something says salt on it, it's usually got a it's good got bit of salt. salt. <laughs> so uh, that way we can control how much salt we put in. Okay. All right. So there's our guac easy enough to me that's a great topping along with cheese so yeah. i thought that's what we would have today um, but sometimes i've sauteed up um, onions and bell well, pepper oh you. thank you <laughs> and uh that was really good uh, you know you just be creative with it yeah okay so now we got our toppings now what we're going to do is make this mushroom beef concoction. Okay. So. I'm going to uh, move to this side. Okay. Try to get out of your way I'm this way. I'm going to turn this. <laughs> I've got an electric skillet. Uh, I'm going to turn that on. Okay. Um, I have already, um, I sauteed up an onion with a pound of ground beef. Oh, so okay. that was easy enough. That was all it was. A chopped onion, a pound of ground beef, browned that. I got eight ounces of mushrooms chopped them up 
and finely and then saute them up to get the moisture out. They've got a tremendous amount of moisture. Oh, okay. So the, what this does is it cuts, it cuts the uh, amount of meat that you're getting, which is really what we want to do. I mean, meat provides some essential nutrients, but really most people eat more than what they need, right? Yeah, yeah, I think we're all victims of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this way you still get those good nutrients, um, and then you get the flavor of the, the mushrooms, and uh, you, know, you don't really feel like you're missing anything. Um, so we've got this taco seasoning that I made up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I made my own. The reason I did that is because if you go and get taco seasoning at a store already made up, it's usually pretty salty, right? <laughs> That's it, that hidden salt we were talking it, about. Yes, ago. it's in everything. <laughs> so, so not that I'm against all salt, but most people get way more than what they need in their diets. Yeah. Um, so I've got four tablespoons of, um, this is tomato paste. So this is, this is going, this is going to give uh, our combination here a really robust flavor. So I'm going to uh, put a little olive oil in our skillet. Mm -hmm. Because my meat, I got the really lean meat. So okay. whenever you choose your meats, it's, it's good to get it as, as lean as you can. I know it does cost a little bit more, but yeah, yeah, it doesn't but, drain out. But you um, could also use turkey or ground pork or anything ground. You could. So you could, else. yeah, ground chicken. Ground chicken. You could do yeah. that. So that's one pound of the the ground meat. It's sizzling already. Yeah, that's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Eight ounces of the chopped. Cooked, cooked up mushrooms. And you know, the consistency of the mushrooms, I'd really think with the beef, you're not even gonna know it's there. I mean, no, it's gonna- No, you really don't. Yeah, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna seem the same as the hamburger. It, all, it all is also the same color, so that- Yeah, yeah. That helps. Now, um, mushrooms are um, high in B vitamins, which uh, helps you with your energy levels, the B oh, okay. vitamins, they well, help need, your I energy need more work. <laughs> in I need your more body. B. <laughs> B or coffee, right? B or coffee. <laughs> yeah. or, uh, what, what vitamins in Red Bull? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they add a few to that. <laughs> a lot of salt in that. <laughs> so our um, our concoction here that we've uh, your taco seasoning. My taco seasoning. It has. Um, chili powder, a little bit of cayenne pepper, uh, oregano, has a pretty good amount of uh, cumin, which oh, okay. when I saw that recipe, I thought, that looks like too much cumin, but I thought it really is a nice combination. And then I put in some uh, smoked paprika and some sweet paprika. It's kind of a combination. Yeah. Um, I, I put a little bit of salt in. Um, you wouldn't have to have salt if you were really on a salt restriction because of blood pressure or yeah. gut swelling or something, but I just added... Um, just a little for flavor. Just a little bit for, for flavor. So, see how that seasons that up? And it looks great. It's already, I mean, like I was happy with the guacamole. <laughs> and then you're going, <laughs> you're going the extra mile. <laughs> Yes, this this will have a great flavor, and we know what's in it, right? For oh, yeah. our, for our Mexican food, so this won't make us feel as bloated or heavy as the when I uh, go to the Mexican restaurant. Plus, <laughs> I'm not sitting and eating uh, chips for nachos one after the other. Yes, while I'm waiting <laughs> for my entree. Yes, it's hard to resist that, isn't it? It is. It is. Hmm. Okay, I think that, that that has come together really nicely. That is such a simple, simple meal. Now you could, um, you could either put this in a tacos, which I'm gonna do today. Uh -huh. Or you could, um, you could put it in a whole wheat tortilla. We wanna get as many yeah. whole grains as we can, or, or just a tortilla. Um, I really like tacos, though. I like the crunch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is good. Plus, they, 
you know, they usually fall apart, so that's always fun to watch people <laughs> that you're eating with. It's like with. eating hot dogs, you know, you, you, it's never going to be, it's never going to be pretty. You just have to do it. That's true. That's just how it works. <laughs> and so, um, that really, this is going to add some good color. Oh, it does. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? And then, the only thing left is the cheese. We're going to add the orange. Even more color. <laughs> Even more color. All right. <laughs> so, uh, some people don't add cheese to their tacos, but I'm just such a cheese lover. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There it is. So, we really have a lot of food groups here, right? We've got yeah. a lot of vegetables. We've got our dairy. We've got our meat, our grain. <laughs> got your we've, grain. We've you got, got your it corn, all. Cornmeal. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm going to put that on a plate for you. Oh, okay. And well, uh, I'll let you uh, taste that and uh, see what you think. <laughs> and while you're trying that, I just want to talk oh, okay, to you a, a you. little bit about um, having a plant-forward diet. Okay. Have you heard of that term before? No, mm -hmm. I have not. A plant-forward <laughs> diet. Yeah, that's what we want to do uh, for a lot of health reasons to stay healthy and basically all that means is that you want to choose foods that originate from plants more than you choose foods that come from animals um, so this is one of the ways that you can do that you all know right. whenever you combine uh, you know maybe cut your meat some uh, by adding a, a vegetable or in this case the the fungi <laughs> the but you can't even tell. That's what you know. We were talking mm -hmm. about. You can't even tell. But we're gonna we're gonna try this out here. Yeah, yeah. See what you think. Um, but we know that the healthiest populations, the people that live the longest with the fewest diseases, uh, that's the kind of diet that they have. So particularly the Mediterranean, the traditional Mediterranean diet. You might yeah. have heard of that. I've heard of it. This is fabulous, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I'm glad you like it. I'm loving the guacamole. <laughs> Hell yeah. And the cheese and everything, and it's a, it's, it's a fiesta in my mouth. <laughs> so it's, a, it's really good. Uh, this is a great recipe. You guys need to try this. But uh, uh, now tell me, a lot of people say the words the Mediterranean diet, but what, what actually does that consist of? Well, it's not eating um, white spaghetti with... Uh, a sweet sauce. That's not what it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's not that part of the Mediterranean. <laughs> but what it means is uh, eating like the people that the different countries around the Mediterranean Sea once ate. I don't think they still eat that way. Not everyone does. But they had access to just because of their weather. I mean, they had access to so many fresh fruits and vegetables. Oh, okay. So that's that's the main reason why they had a plant-forward diet. They also ate a lot of fish because they're right near the ocean. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's handy. <laughs> yes, I mean, I've I've had fish tacos as well, and uh, they're really good too. We need, we need to do that one time, fish tacos, because that always kind of intimidates me. <laughs> yes, yeah, and those are really easy to prepare, and uh, yeah, have a super flavor. But, uh, but yeah, the Mediterranean, so pretty much they would eat, uh, use the, the beef, you know, a couple of times a week, just small, smaller amounts, and go, go more with fish, and sometimes some vegetarian meals. Yeah. Um, maybe nuts, they, they were able yeah. to grow nuts in that area. Well, and a lot of olives and stuff, too, I guess. In right, that and that's where the olive oil comes yeah, in. Yeah, so. so they had a lot of olives. But, I mean, that it's an intriguing diet, and, and you think, especially guys, I mean, let's, let's be honest here. You're thinking, oh, i got to have meat every meal. I guess that's the way I was raised, or, you know, my family was. But the older I've gotten, the more I've learned, and, and there'll be days we don't have meat, you know. We'll have some meatless days in there. And that's kind of, it's, and it's like you say, you don't feel as full, you don't feel stuffed, and mm. uh, life's just a little better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, does, it certainly doesn't hurt to have some pla places they have uh, meatless Mondays. Yeah, yeah. So that's not a bad idea. No, not a bad idea at all. And that now, I mean, there's so many other things they're trying, you know, like the Impossible Burgers and stuff like that that's come mm -hmm. up. And so, you know, there's a lot more plant-based material out there to eat than there used to be if you want to, in a handy way 
<laughs> or, or a quick way, fast food way, I guess. Well, and you don't have to crack your nuts by hand either. <laughs> they, no, they're no, done, let them so do it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's so much better. So. <laughs> yeah, walnuts were, I mean, when I was a kid, you'd go to somebody's house and they'd have that tray of walnuts and the nutcracker sitting there, and it's like, you know. I remember that. You got to work for it. <laughs> yes, you work for it. <laughs> Pop them pecans. <laughs> Get that out there. Dig it all out. Dig so, every yeah, bit out. It's, yeah. a lot, it's a lot so. easier now. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> But lots of, like, this is so good. I really, like, want to quit talking and, like, eat it. Okay, so. well, I'm glad you like my recipe. And. Yeah, it's great. And uh, uh, the, now the recipe, you guys, it'll be at the end of the episode as well. But uh, we'll have it up there so you can see it. And uh, uh, But, yeah, I want to do this at home because this is really, really good. So I love the guacamole on it. I, I don't even think about going that way. So. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I New see ideas. them on sale. I see the avocados on sale, and I just walk past them. <laughs> so now you know. Cart. So, yeah, but it looks great, and it tastes great, too. So. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me. Well, thanks for having me, and thanks for having me back. Now, you guys, if you want to find more recipes, where can they find more recipes from you? Would there be more stuff online or a place specific Well, they could to go the to extension? Med. Med instead of meds um, is the program that I've taught. It's a class series that I've taught. Okay. And uh, there are so many good recipes on that website. It's Med instead of meds. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds good. That sounds good right there from the, just the title. So Yes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so we'll do that instead. But Margie, I appreciate you taking the time to show us this, and it's always great, and it's always fun to do this. So thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank mm-hmm. you.